Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. And this is episode 182 of Elden Ring. <laughs> Talk about, see, the giant hand that was trying to run after us. This is the giant's, giant's hand. That for us is a giant, but compared to that, these are real giants. And look at the hand. And imagine, and remember the the hand that was trying to come after us. Now that is a that hand. I don't want to meet uh, the body that was attached to that hand. That is that is enormous beyond uh, description. Huge. Oh, did that bird win the fight between the between itself? I thought we killed the bird. Yeah, I thought we killed the bird that was fighting the giant. Yeah, that's oh, that's the hand right there, right? How much damage can we do it? Sheesh. Let's see if we can play Ring Around the Roses. That's it, right? It's dead. We got it. They're barely harming each other. Ouch. Okay. Let's not uh, get involved in that fight. Oh, Arietta leaves. Uh, these are like... This is what they gave us when... Like, as loot items, as shinies. Oh, they grow here then. I guess we'll see more of those giant hands, right? Why is there a... Oh... Interesting. I think... I think that is a fight. That is a boss fight right there. It's... You know, <laughs> that chain leads in there and that's a that's a boss fight if I know one, if I... When I see one. Uh, I don't think we're, we're ready for that one.
Wow, what was that? That's doing like 600 plus damage. What was that? Whoa! Whoa! He can see us! That's like instant death! Good thing we have these giant statues uh, protecting us. Oh, that's a uh, golden seed. Oh, but I think we're maxed out already. know that they could do that oh whoa Throwing bombs in our direction. Huh. What's this other guy? Yes. You can't reach us. Arieta Leaf. That is the reward we get. Uh, in our equipment... You know, you'd think that coming up here, clearing out these guys... Okay, oh, okay. There's got to be a reason to come up here.
Ooh, somber seven. Okay, while well we have Lutel with us to keep them occupied. Because as soon as we leave this area, I think, uh, yeah, this is like almost like a boss area. Look at this uh, big area. Anyway, we killed two, those two giants. I hope that the uh, bomb throwing giant does not respawn. What's that? What is that thing that we were targeting? Oh, Arietta Leaf. Oh, it was the giant's foot. <laughs> oh, another giant. I think this is another giant. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. to catch us uh, we are on a speedy horse here oh he's pretty fast Lutel is almost dead. <laughs> uh, he's got about 20% life left, so I think uh, we can continue to... So there's got to be a reason for all of these things here. All these giants guarding whatever it is. And we're, I'm not seeing it. It's got to be something to this, to this whole thing here. Uh, where are we? We are right... Yes. So these are like... These... We can see these are like giants all over. Okay. We came up from there. Uh... Yep, so we have circumnavigated this whole place. We picked up the last of uh, the seed that we... Uh, I don't think we can... Uh, I don't think we can improve our flasks anymore. Uh, that's the... I think 14 is the maximum. And I think it was very generous of uh, the developers to actually uh, provide more seeds than is that can be consumed so in case uh, we miss some of them especially those that are that can only be gotten from the mini bosses like that we were picked uh, like the guy that was in the sewers in Stormvale 
Uh, yeah. So I guess this is the only thing of importance here. Uh, this last uh, seed. Because all of them are looking in that direction. So, oh no, no, no. Okay, so that thing there looks like it is a uh, an arena. And the problem with that is by the time we get here, uh oh, like Lutel is disappearing, right? So by the time we get here to this arena, our flasks uh, would have, uh, some of them would have been used up. Yeah, this is, we go in there at our own risk. Uh, this is, uh, we have 103 runes. Oh, that is a side of grace, right? That is a side of grace. Nice. No, I was just curious. Say, yeah, if we don't have a side of grace close by and we die, we'll have to come a long way. Like massively long way. Oh, that is another entry point? Is that another entry point? Right? See, we I, I, I we were we saw a chain. That looks like an arena. That's a boss in this. Uh, problem is, do we want to risk the runes that we have? We have 103. Okay, I think... Wait, where... See, why is that side of grace not showing up? It is showing up, okay. Or it's not an arena. It leads to this next area. Right? It, it seems to lead to the next area. Okay, anyway. 103 runes. I think that looks like a boss giant. It, it it looks different. So had we come in, oh, we would have come in through there. I see. So there are two entry points? No. Oh, don't tell me we are now sealed in and... Ouch. We are sealed in. <laughs> This is indeed a uh, boss fight. Oh, can we travel out? Yeah, let's just travel out of here. Jeez, that means we cannot go back. And, um... 
and if we allow the giant it, you know we can try to run around the giant away from it uh, but we will still lose the uh, yeah we will still lose the the runes and the farther away assuming we, we die far from the entrance then that's gonna be problematic okay um I think that's a bird I don't know I think uh, did our timer go off or do we even come up here okay let us There is a structure. No. I think that's an invasion. Invaded by bloody fingers. Oh, rivers of blood. Rivers of blood. I think Okina mask. That is what a what a rivers of blood. What a uh, what do you call this? Uh, ominous sounding item, right? Rivers of blood. And it gave this guy gave us like 23 points in terms of uh, 23,000 about 20,000 um, runes. So another sacred tier, yes. Let us improve our flasks. Increased the amount of hit points and fate points. Okay. Uh, wow. Let's check the rivers of blood. Uh, no, I, I'm so excited. I kept pushing the wrong things. Rivers of blood. Uh, what does it need? Oh, it needs 20 in arcane. Whoa. Okay. I think. Wow. And it is important for Arcane because uh, it has a rating of D for Arcane. Nothing in magic. Wow, that is a lot of points in Arcane. And we have to have to change our build. So, 
that means we'll need to change our build from intelligence to arcane whoa uh it has an automatic fire that causes blood loss build up uh 30 percent hmm rivers of blood can you believe that what a name it's like has got to be i got to do research on this uh just it sounds so ominous right probably but problems we can't use it our arcane is only nine uh we need to invest like 11 points to it just to barely be able to use it and since it levels with arcane we have to be uh it, we have to invest all our points into arcane to get it to anything anything worth decent uh our moon veil i can't remember uh it started at intelligence if it's similar to this it started at d and then over time as we improved it became b uh this one is based on dex nagakiba while the meteoric is based on strength and intelligence uh, a little bit of dex Nagakiba uh, we can put a yeah we put a war ash in it it's what a slash peers uh, what kind of arse you know we never tried it see what it is Is that a that is a long That's a long thrust. Okay. Is that thing built in? I mean it's not using Is that an Ash of War? Let's find out what kind of Ash of War do we put in it? Nagakiba, what do we put? This is... Keen Blade, how about Sheath? This is Piercing Fang, this is Repeating Thrust, Sword Dance. Uh, Keen... We'll have plus one, f oh, no, no, uh, 168, 66. Oh, and if it's magic, it will now scale with magic. If it, okay, if it scales with magic. How does it perform? No, no, no. Oh, this is the standard movement of Moonvale. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Okay, okay. Uh, that is Moonvale's uh, standard. We don't need that uh, because um, we already have that in Moonvale. Ashes of War. What is?